Welcome back. It's 1224. As daily COVID-19 cases continue to drop, so does the pace at which people are getting booster shots. And it comes at a time when mask mandates are being lifted across the U.S. Mandy Gaither explains why that's raising concerns for some doctors. The pace of new COVID-19 booster shots now at an all-time low in the U.S. as many pandemic precautions are being rolled back in cities and states. We're not where we want to be with COVID hospitalizations, but the trend is definitely in the right direction. The latest CDC data shows about 64% of the U.S. population is fully vaccinated. About 28% have received a booster shot. Among those eligible for a booster, less than a third who originally got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine have been boosted, compared with 52% of those who received their initial two doses of Moderna and 47% who got the Pfizer vaccine. We certainly, I think, have reached a point where there aren't going to be a lot of people voluntarily kind of seeking out vaccines. That crowd is all vaccinated, so we're going to have to use other uh, policy efforts. We should continue doing outreach to people to try to make it easier. We can't quite give up yet. I think we need to keep working on vaccinating more people. The newest booster data comes as many mask mandates are being lifted, and the CDC hasn't changed its guidance when it comes to COVID restrictions. But right now, we've got the state saying one thing and the CDC saying they're looking at this again, and that's just not enough. With a vaccine decision delayed for children under five, one health official says prevention remains the best medicine. Take all the precautions you know that work, whether it's masking, social distancing, uh, hygiene. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. And while new COVID-19 cases are dropping, the U.S. is still averaging more than 2,300 new deaths a day. Officials say being fully vaccinated and boosted provides the best protection against severe outcomes from the virus. And more than 67 million U.S. households have ordered free at-home COVID-19 tests. That number is up from 60 million orders the federal government said it received by the end of January. More than 50 million of those orders have been shipped already. The White House COVID coordinator says about 10 million households still have not received their tests, but those should be delivered in the coming days. And despite the drop in cases, the demand for food delivery is not slowing down. DoorDash reports a record number of orders and active users in its latest quarter. Analysts say people are now accustomed to having food delivered after frequently ordering during the peak of the pandemic. And DoorDash has expanded beyond restaurants, also delivering groceries, pet food, and even alcohol.